Hi everyone, Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master. Are you all ready for step four with our braided rim? This is the final step. Step four is identical to step two. So we take our two pieces here side by side, pull down on the one that's in your right hand. See the little hole that it creates? The one that's in your left hand goes through that little hole into the inside of your basket. Take the next two. There's a little hole. Goes to the inside of your basket. And we just keep working our way around. I hope you've been weaving this with me. If you have, send me a link to your blog or if you've got your photos somewhere on the internet, you know, send me a link where I'd find it. I'd be glad to link to you. I'd love to see what you're weaving. This is such a fun little basket and it really makes such a nice gift. It's, it's actually, it's a really nice size to hold some fun things to give to uh, to really anyone. I bet you can think of a lot of people who would like to receive this basket. Here we go. So basically what we've done is We've kind of made two, two braids, and that just finishes off the top of our basket just, just beautifully. It really does. So just remember steps one and three are identical, and steps two and four are identical. And here we're just about around. Remember, keep this round reed damp while you're doing this so you don't have pieces that bend and break on you because you know what? That's no fun when you're doing a braided rim. I can't stress that enough. Keep, keep your reed moist. And just about here, down to the last one. Again, we just have to look and see, so we make sure it follows the pattern. And to get it to follow the pattern, can see it needs to slip right in here. Okay, you might need to use a screwdriver or something to create a space. There, we did it, yay! And tomorrow I will go back and I will cut all of these short. I want to show you one more thing before, uh, uh, before I leave here. I'm going to put a little bow on my basket so I have another piece of the wine in quarter inch flat, run it through my towel to get some of the excess color off, and I'm going to slip it under this piece of 3 8 inch flat. Let's see if I can slide it through here. There we go. 
All right, slide it through there to about the center. And this piece, oh, I didn't even measure it. I just, I just pulled it out of my scraps. It's, um, it's about 15 inches long, but it's, it's going to be a little bit long. We're going to have to cut some of it shorter. And we're going, going to loop it around and tuck it under the row of weaving here, like so. That makes the first top of the loop. And then this one, we wrap it. Tuck it under here again just to make a couple little loop de loops. Turn it around so you can see it there. So I went and I'm on this looking at this row of three inch flat. I went under it and then I just looped them around and I tucked them under the color and then I'm going to cut the ends off. like so and as soon as I cut off all my little ends and cut off any of the little hairs my basket is done so I hope you've enjoyed it um, weave some of these like I said they make a great gift or they're just they're fun for yourself so uh, you can put this really anywhere in your house let me know leave the basket and let me know what you decide to, to do with it all right take care you guys have have a great holiday and we'll see you soon bye now visit my blog www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com bye bye